guys, it's Sarah from All Coin Bus Ladies. So we're gonna have some really good news again today. So Augur is finally live. It's a decentralized platform for betting on real world prediction, was one of the first applications built on top of the Ethereum blockchain, and its creators sold rep reputation tokens for over 5 billion in 2015, a time when few were talking about ICOs or even utility coins. A public beta version of the platform came out the following year and it seemed published a revised version of its white paper in January. And now the Forecast Foundation, the not-for-profit behind Augur's development, has announced the launch of the long-awaited platform, which was accompanied by the release of the final version of the Augur application and as open-source software. The years-long delay in reaching this point may have been frustrating for the token holders, but it has allowed the Argo team to aggressively vet their code sort of like internal audits and a generous back bounty program. Notably, Augur offered 200,000 for bags that qualified as critical. As the operation lead at the Forecast Foundation, which was created to support Augur, Tollcoin has said in February that they'll probably be the largest and most complex application to be attempted to be deployed on Ethereum. At the same time, it was added that once Augur is live on the mainnet, that is, once it's live on Ethereum blockchain, they'll have no more control over Algor than anyone else does. So there is that a serious vulnerability could cripple a complex decentralized application like Algor aren't just academic. After all, the entire DAO, Saga, ICO launch, hack, Ethereum fork, and ensuing divisions unfold in the time between Argus token sale and its launch. Okay, so it all sounds good, but how does it work? What, what is going on? So Algor allows participants to bet on anything. That's probably as simplest as you can put it. And as long as the outcome can be verified in the real world, users can create a prediction market for anything from Ether's price, an election in Brazil, or the outcome of the World Cup, for example. And what distinguishes Algo from a traditional betting market is that no single party sits in the middle, meaning that users are likely to pay lower fees. Removing the decentralized intermediary from a betting market presents a problem, however. How to bring dispersed financial interest parties into agreement about the actual outcome of the predicted event? In our system, the creator of a prediction market designates a reporter to vet the outcome. This designated entity puts down a deposit of rep token, which they lose if they incorrectly report the outcome and other rep holders challenge them. The reporter is compensated through fees. And day to day betting is not done in rep by an ether. The native token of the Ethereum blockchain, though, Eventually, the plan is to support other Ethereum-based tokens. Users can buy and sell shares in particular predictions, which are priced according to the likelihood the market attaches to at each outcome. So I don't want you guys to think of Algor as just a cheap betting platform, as Algor's white paper argues that fees on the platform will go as low as market forces can drive them providing those placing bets with an attractive alternative to current offerings. The platform will also block or censor it, as the owners have stated that no single party is in control of it, even the Forecast Foundation themselves. That could make Augur appealing in jurisdictions where sports gambling is illegal, for example. And Augur's creators see it as more than just a rival to gaming sites such as Paddy Power, though. The project's website suggests its usefulness for forecasting, whether elections or quarterly product sales, and hedging against high-impact, low-likelihood events such as natural disaster, for example. So it's important to know that before Algor can overhaul the global financial system, though, it has to attract users. And the co-founder and managing partner of the cryptocurrency investment fund, Multicon Capital, which he said does not currently own any rep token, but is following the project closely, said that the Argo team wants a slow and steady launch, nothing loud and crazy, nothing in a sense that Tron does it. Not sure how much demand there actually will be, that's what they're wondering about. And, and obviously, given that they are not doing mainstream consumer marketing. However, having that said, if demand does materialize, Augur could put considerable strain on Ethereum. We know that Ethereum doesn't handle complicated so well. So even modest demand for Augur could lead to the situation similar to the one caused by CryptoKitties at the height of its popularity when the Ethereum network slowed to a crawl and transactions became extremely expensive. So actually having said that, it could mean that the launch could actually turn out to be quite loud and crazy after all. 
So it's an irony in itself. Guys, let me know. Do you huddle any algorithm? Have you guys heard of it before? I know they've got absolutely enormous following on Twitter of 116,000 people. If you guys want to find out a little bit more about it and if you think I said something wrong or it's not clear, either leave a comment and I'll try and explain it a little bit more or just follow them on Twitter and see what they're actually up to. It's very important to follow the projects you're invested in because how else you stay up to date with them? So they obviously been proactively sharing all the posts about the launches and what is going on. So congrats to you, Algor. It's always good to see a project finally launch. So let's have a look on CoinMarketCap and how actually Algor is doing today. So we've got Algor at 38 on CoinMarketCap. And it's trading at $31 and is down 10%. We're currently having some dip in the market and everything is currently down right now. So calm down, everyone, if you're panicking and thinking of panic selling. I never think it's a good shot. So Algor, like I said, our REP is a token. So if you guys didn't understand what I meant, is that by the reps. So if you guys enjoyed this sort of a content, hit a like button, leave a comment letting me know what you think of Algor, whether they've got massive potential or if they're just highly overvalued project. Follow us, all Converse ladies, on Twitter. And we post loads of important stuff like the massive partnership of Lycon and Token Bay, which has been briefly explained. We reviewed Redcoin and Verge crowdfunding. And we're also looking for more people, more ladies, actually, I should say, to join our team as it's as we're creating content by ladies for everyone. It's not any way feminist or anything like that. I don't even try and put it that way. So if you guys know anyone who'd be possibly interested, let them know that we're looking for. And I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.